Good morning. My name is Pete Herman. I'm here with my wife, Chris, and our two children, Miles and Abigail. Uh, we've been parishioners here at All Saints for over 19 years. North Carolina was not home to us for either Chris or myself. We both grew up in the Midwest. But life in the Marine Corps brought us here temporarily. But now, without a doubt, after living here for over 20 years, we are home. I'm going to go off of script real quick here. I'm a little nervous because uh, being an engineering major and Chris, the communications major, she's my speechwriter. So she'll be grading me after this. Anyone else here wake up this morning and check the Powerball numbers? I guess we weren't the only ones who played last night. We dreamed of being able to come in here today and say, don't worry about the financing. We're just going to write a check and you can start building. Well, I'm sad to say we didn't win the $620 million. And likely, neither did you. But if you did, I'm going to talk to you after Mass. <laughs> so I guess I'll continue on with what we wrote. And when I mean we, I mean Chris. When we first moved to Hampstead, we moved across the street in the Belvedere. We were thrilled that there was an actual Catholic church so close to us. Our first impression was it was a bit smaller than we were both used to. We grew up in large parishes back home, and the church was very utilitarian in look. Eventually, we learned that this building was never intended to be the church, but an all-purpose room, which made a lot more sense to us. Aren't we all taught to never judge a book by its cover? Thankfully, we didn't because what awaited us at All Saints has, born, has been more than we could ever, ever imagined. We are a family here, brothers and sisters in Christ. We have a deep devotion and connection to each other because we are truly family. The fact that we are growing and doing amazing work, even with the extreme trials of the past two years, makes me know without a doubt we are not the only ones who feel the same way. In our All Saints community, we see so many examples of the Catholic faith alive and vibrant, which sadly is in such contrast to many Catholic churches around the nation that are closing. We are a parish that is truly living God's word and showing his love to others not only in our church, but beyond. It is so incredibly exciting to be part of this parish, which is alive. We are very grateful for those who came before us and who generously donated their prayers and financial support for this facility that we're in right now. But we have, we have known for quite some time that we need to build a church, and we are finally doing it. Enthusiasm for this campaign has started. Over the past few weeks, many parishioners have already come forward with their support and pledges. Our Lord is blessing this campaign. We are excited to share that as of today, we've already received pledges for over $1 million, as Monsignor said. Monsignor Joseph is right. This is our time. We are off to a strong start, but now we need your support to be successful. Please don't start shifting in your seats right now. You know the hard conversation about money is now here. Remember, we tried to win the lottery last night, so we wouldn't need to have this discussion, but it didn't happen. <laughs> Today, as you leave Mass, please pick up a campaign packet, which will be will give you more detailed information.
The packet also includes pledge cards and envelopes. Living our mission is a critical step to build a better future for all saints. I hope you will read the information very carefully. Please take home the, the packet and pray about it. In order for us to turn our dream into reality, it will require each of us to make a sacrificial pledge. We're looking for pledges payable over a three-year, five-year period. It is up to us to be generous, to be joyful in sharing, and to be courageous in making the best sacrifice. Have you ever tossed a rock into water? You probably have, right? Who hasn't? What happened to that rock? You likely watched your rock disappear perhaps a small splash, but from that one rock came many ripples. These ripples kept spreading on and on, and likely you didn't even see them end. As you pray hard about this, pray hard about your financial support, you can pledge to our new church. Think about the ripples that each and every dollar that you give will make. Each pledge will help the new walls be built, perhaps beautiful statues, new pews with kneelers, but also think about the gift you are leaving for those who come after us, those who you might never meet. Your gift will allow not only us, but generations in the future a place to receive the ultimate gift, the Eucharist. I ask you to join with Monsignor, with our family, with your fellow parishioners, in making sure our church continues to shine for generations to come. Thank you so much, and God bless you.